Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a gold scuffed procedural material using Blender 2.8. So let's take a look at this example. In here you can see this gold sphere. It's got this material applied to it created in Blender. So we've got all this lighting and this HDR effects going on and some lights, sunlights as well. But in general what we're going to aim to do is create this sort of scuffed metal style. And then you can apply this to text objects to statue stuff like that and i think it would look pretty good so let's go ahead and create this particular material directly in blender so we'll minimize this and we'll open up a new blender okay so like usual we'll click on general we'll click on the cube and delete that and we'll click on the light source and delete that as well we'll go to file save as and on my desktop i've got this uh, tutorial folder here we'll call this gold going to call it gold material dash zero one let's save this and we'll pan around here and like usual we'll add in a sphere so we'll go to press shift a and add a uv sphere we'll set this to size five so set it to five on the x y and z axis so it's five like this we'll go to the add modifier and we'll add a surface subdivision surface and we'll set the render and the viewport to three like this and then click apply and we've got a nice smooth sphere. Let's go to File, Save. And the smart thing for us to do is sort out our HDR lighting. So we're going to pretty much do what we normally do. So if you haven't been through my tutorials before, you can just follow these instructions. So we'll minimize this and we'll open up this folder. And we'll go to this HDRI folder. So just create a folder inside your folder called HDRI. And let me open up my notes. So we'll go in here, we'll delete these and we'll download some... HDRI images. Let's just drag this to the side. So we'll download the usual one that we get. So I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description. We'll download the 4K and then I'm going to pick a different one as well. So let's pick something different. Let's go into here. We'll go into, let's say, uh, let's have a look at something new maybe. Let's have a look at, let's try this one here. So it's called Theater01. So I'll copy the link for this and I'll put that in the YouTube description as well and we'll download that one at 4k as well so we've got these two hdri maps we'll drag and drop them into this directory and close this down then we can go ahead and open up blender again let's go to our shading let's go to the world settings it's going to ex you don't need to do this but i'm going to shrink it down a little bit over on the side so you can see things a bit clearer and we'll go to the render view here let's click on render view Let's drag this all the way over to this side. Let's zoom in a little bit here so you can see it a bit easier. So we've got our background here. We need another background. So let's press Shift A, search for background. So I'll press Shift A and then I'll click on this search option and type in background or just back. Then click on background and we drag it down here like this. Then we'll press Shift A and we need to put in our environmental texture here. Shift A again and we want a vector mapping and then shift a and we want to import texture coordinates and then finally shift a we want to do an input light path then we want to press shift a one more time and we're going to go to shader and add a mix shader but this time drag it in between these two here and it will connect like this you can see like this and we'll drag this background to the bottom shader here and we drag the is camera array to the factor here like this then generated here will go to the vector this vector will go to this vector and this color here will go to the color here you see it will go like this purple color or pink color don't worry about that we're going to click open we'll click hdri and we'll select this theater one as an example and we click open so now we've got our hdri work working and in the background down here we're going to turn it to black or you can pick any other color i'm just going to leave it as black like this so we can see the HDRI lighting affecting this uh, this sphere. So let's click on the sphere and go to the uh, object settings. So now we're going to apply a material to this object. We'll click new. When we click new, we've got the material output and we've got the principal shader here. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit and zoom out. So you can see it a bit clearer. So the first thing we want to do 
is uh, let's start applying a material. So we want a color ramp first. So let's go to our, let's see, where's our color ramp gone? Color. Converter color ramp. We'll put a color ramp here. Then we want to add a noise texture. So let's go to texture and noise. So every time I'm adding one of these, I'm pressing shift A. So I'll press shift A and I want to insert a texture, which will be a Musgrave texture here. And then finally, I want to press shift A and I want to add a bump map here, bump map. So connect the normal to the normal here for the bump map. Connect the color here to the base color here. Let's connect the, um, let's see, let's get this right. So let's connect the, the uh, factor here to the height here, like this. And we'll connect the factor here to the vector here. And finally, we'll connect the color here to the factor here, like this. This should be correct in theory, but we need to adjust some settings. So the first thing we'll do is click here on the white one, this white handle here, and we'll change that to like a gold sort of color, orangey gold, something a bit lighter, maybe something around this sort of shade here. This should be good. Then we'll set the scale here to 1.1, and we'll set the detail to 7.8, and the, dis uh, the distortion we'll leave at zero. Then on here, we'll set the scale to 0 0.6. We'll set the detail to 2.2. And then we'll set the, we'll leave the dimensions at two. Pretty much everything else here, we're gonna leave alone. Uh, let's see. Then in the metallic, we wanna bring that all the way up to the top. The specular, we're gonna remove all the way down. And then the roughness, we're gonna set to uh, exactly 0 0.18. 0.18 so we've got a very similar sort of texture to what we had before it's just the color is quite different but we're going to tweak this maybe a little bit so the height the strength on the height map we'll set this to 0.07 let's see 0 0.0 let's set this to 0 0.077 and then the distance we're going to set to 4.8 Okay, this is pretty close to what I had. It's a different HDRI map, so it's going to look a bit different, but we'll uh, switch the maps around and see it with the other map as well. Uh, the next thing we want to do, let's, in fact, let's do that now. So let's go back to our world settings here, in the world settings. And what we will do is open up this uh, open image, and we'll put the other HDRI image in, the one I used in the original example, and then we can see the colors are going to be quite different. Now it's looking more like that gold material from before. Let's set the scale here to two. So set the scale here to two, set this one to three, and then set this bottom one to minus one. So now you can start to see the colors coming through from the HDRI map, and I think that's looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So let's go back to our object data. So you can see the object settings. Let's just zoom in here so you can see it clearly. It's 0 0.6, 2.2, and then everything else we pretty much leave the same. As default, here the scale is 1.1, 7.8, and distortion, we leave that alone. But you can distort it, you can, this is really your time to now go and experiment, right? Change the scale, see how it affects it. Um, really you've got to experiment now and try and play around with the settings. You can click on the color, it doesn't have to be gold. You can choose a different color, you can have like a purple or a blue. Can really experiment right you can get some nice sort of effects here imagine if you applied that to like a text object and it will look pretty cool right especially with some nice lighting in there as well so we're going to do a bit of lighting in a moment let's set that back to this orange color and i think pretty much everything else is done in here there's not really much else we need to do so let's go to our layout and in the layout option we need to turn on the render view so we can see the object now in here and we'll go to the output settings here and we'll turn on the, what do we need to do here? Let's have a look. We'll turn on the bloom and we'll set the threshold all the way down to zero. We'll set this down to around two point, around 2.7, something like this. And then the radius will bring it down to around 3.4, around 3.4.
let's set that to 3.4 and then the intensity let's bring that all the way up okay so let's see um, the other thing we can do is add a little bit of lighting in here we don't this this step you don't really need to do but we might as well do it because I did this in my last example as well so what we will do is press shift a shift a and we want to insert a sun lamp here light sun lamp here and let's just check how I did this before let's um, click on this move tool and drag it up so it's above it doesn't really matter where it's positioned but above is good kind of makes makes sense when you're doing the work we'll click on the light source itself and then we're going to change its color slightly so let's go to the light source color here and we'll change it to like a sort of orangey color as well so if I change it to like green you can see it's looking quite green there right so we want to change it to like an orange sort of color something like this and we could increase the uh, radius a little bit something like this you don't have to do this step but I think it improves a little bit we'll press shift a again and we'll insert another sunlight but this time we'll drag it to the side here and we want to rotate it so it's facing the object or hit the sunlight is hitting the object from this direction so to do that we want to rotate it on the y-axis uh, 90 degrees so we can just click here and then on the y-axis type in 90 and hit the enter key so really in theory it should be minus 90 to point in this direction so we've got two options uh, either we drag the light source to this side or we just set it to minus 90 so let's put it to minus 90 now it's facing and hitting this object from this direction right then we want to change that light source color so in that example let's click here let's go to the light source and in my example I set it to almost like a blue color something quite blue and pretty much everything else are left quite the same so when we rotate around you can see you get this like blue blue sort of a uh, glow from it right as you're rotating around and uh, that's what I did in my example so let's just turn off the overlays for a second let's just have a look in here see what's going on it's looking pretty much the same um, in my example it was a slightly different color let's just go and check the shading settings here let's click on the object maybe something on in here is slightly off so let's have a quick look I think this was a slightly lighter color lighter orange it wasn't so dark in my example it was more like a, a yellowy gold something like this um, this was set to 0 0.6 2.2 the dimensions were 2 all of this is correct the scale here is correct this looks all okay yep this is pretty much set up as I set it up before um, so that's it we're pretty much done so this is that material that I created before the one thing you might want to do let's see if that makes any difference let's press F12 to render it out we we'll probably need to set up our camera quickly yeah so let's uh, set up our camera control alt 0 that puts our camera here when you do control alt 0 you can see the camera is here you might want to move it slightly so I'll click on the camera then press the letter G and that allows you to pan around with the mouse and then if you um, hold down the middle mouse button and move it backwards and forwards you can zoom in and out right that's nice and easy once you zoom to the right position let's say around here you left click to confirm and then I normally press the letter G just to move it into position something like this and then uh, let's just move it across a little bit somewhere around here let's press F12 and that looks quite similar to what I had before there's one thing we might be able to do is go to the um, uh, let's see let's click on the sphere let's click on the modifier and we might be able to subsurface divide it one more time let's click apply and then render and we're gonna get a bit more of a smoother shade so when you subsurface divide it again you're going to get some 
better smooth effects on the uh, the material here as well and the lighting and stuff right so just subsurface divide it uh, accordingly using the subsurface uh, division here okay so that's this tutorial done let's just have a little look at it quickly it's looking pretty good so now you can take this material and if you follow my other tutorials you can now apply this material to a text object and that text object just won't be a flat gold color it's going to have all of these like nice lighting effects to it and it will have these nice little sort of brush metal effects i think it will look pretty cool okay so that's the end of this tutorial let's minimize this and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial